Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season two of Zombieland Saga. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. What well, damn, the special task force shit. Oh, it's a saga special task force. Turn that down like a little bit. That's a little too bright on my face. It's better. not good, right? It's a good help, everybody. time Mm -hmm. Hmm? Damn.
I don't even think you have time to go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Still so far away, huh? No, he's the late one. <laughs> oh, 
doing? Hi, oh my god.
good oh my god Jesus Christ the dresses are pretty now I kind of wish you know Bundy did them dresses even though I still love the season ones like so much more but those are so fucking pretty oh my god and it would have been nice like <laughs> we would have saw the cards and then we got to this people like holy shit <laughs> I did not think this was going to make me cry. God damn it. Oh my god. If they don't release merch of them in this outfit, like, oh my god, Jesus. Mm-hmm. 
We're not going to talk about what the... Uh, Stop! Okay, all right, let's go ahead and do this. Final thoughts on this show. I really enjoyed this season. I, I mean, I love season one so much, but I think this was so much better. This was so good. The stakes and everything, learning, finally getting, like, your goodies, like, backstory. That was the best thing about this season. Everything else of what happened to the girls, how even a 27-minute episode, I mean, for a finale, like, damn. Uh, I'm just sad that it's over now, because, like, who knows if we might get a, se a, a second season, a third season with this show. I mean, I know a lot of us would want to see it a lot, because this show has impacted, like, a lot of things, not only for, you know, people who just watch idol shows in general, but I think this show probably got a lot of people into idol shows, especially when season one aired, because this show was different from typical idol stuff. My baby's a girl. See, because even the way they ended, like, with that... <laughs> Aliens? What the fuck? Uh-oh. 
uh, oh, okay. Um, Mappa? Mappa? You can't do that. You cannot do that. You can't give me that and, and then Katato bleeding and, and expect and be like, no, we're, we don't know if we're going to do it season three. Uh, okay, no. We, we need season three, like, right the fuck now. What the fuck? Did... Hello? What the fuck was that shit? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I mean, but this season was really, really good. I, I just, I think my personal favorite episode was, yeah, the, the Goodies Backstory episodes. And seeing everyone, you know, way before you getting met everybody, it was really sweet. Or even, like, the first few episodes. Almost every episode of this was really good. And seeing that in a time of destruction, everything that's going on in the world and everything, that, you know, people came together to go see a concert and everything. And it made, you know, just everything go away for just a couple of minutes or even an hour or so and it was really sweet my god like how can we even talk about the fact is okay because this is we're now going about to go back into bend Bundy territory okay so you know how last week um if any of you do play jp Bundy, how it was confirmed that pastel palace was getting a collab with this series and how we got the outfits from season one and the only one who came home for me was Hina and I haven't played the damn event. Like, I was just like, I want Chisato, a.k.a. Saki, if she ain't come home. Hell, I want the Aya, a.k.a. Sakura, because Sakura is one of my other best girls and such. But I think I'm going to go a little bit more harder when it comes to Ian because, like, I barely really play JP because I'm always too busy with, like, all my other games and such. And the biggest thing I was kind of expecting because they did show, like, I think the week before the event started... It was a poster of all the girls, including Sakura, and Sakura was in the art style of Benzity, just how with a certain scientific railgun series, um, the main girl who has like a coin and she flips it all the time, she got um, placed in the Benzity art style and she looks really, really cute. And so my thing was like, damn, I kind of want to see all five of Pastel, pa Pastel Palette in the, you know, Summerland Saga art style. Then last night comes and they show a picture of Aya in Sakura's outfit with Sakura's little bow that I love so freaking much in the art style. And she looks so fucking cute. And I was like, oh my god, like... It, it, I was thinking, I was like, oh my god, is she going to be in the episode? But no, I really love this episode. Not only for like a 27 minute finale, possibly series finale, even though, I don't know, are we confirming season three? But like, who knows? But I mean, seriously, this was good. Really, really good. I'm on, honest to God, I'm going to miss it. it. Just as much as when I finished season one um, as a reactor and watching it for the first time and finishing it. I, and I was like so upset that the show was over because it was such a damn good show and the differences of season one to season two is very big even like the the quality the cgi because i felt like the cgi in season two was much better than season one and they did a damn good job because like season one's was really good but twos was just so much better in quality and everything and i really enjoyed that personally and i think as i said when i was watching the performance this series possibly got a lot of people into um idol stuff in general because like typically you know in the idol community is it it's a lot of fucking people and such but i think especially when you know this was announced the first season one and we all didn't know what the fuck the show was going to be and we were all very curious to see what the fuck it was going to be. And when we all found out that by the end of episode one, it was going to be an idol show. That's kind of, it kind of like differentiate between who was going to sit there and watch it every week between um, others who was just probably going to watch it for like two or three more episodes and then instantly drop it. And I, especially like some of my other reactor friends who had possibly never seen an idol show before and were like, very curious of it but at first they were taken back by it because I think a lot of us were even me like I think the week before season one aired I was like what if it is an idol anime because I had a weird feeling about it and I was like mm, we'll just see when it gets there because I was expecting it to be like a typical you know zombie horror type anime and such and we get two seasons and then your girl was hella surprised that it was an idol and I was like <gasps> So, because your girl loves the shit out of idol anime and, and shit like that but like I said I think this this series just really did a very good job on it I think it's gonna stand there to the test of times like we're gonna be coming back like five ten years later 
and listening to these girls over and over again in their songs and crying over certain things just like with so many things before it freaking love live benzity d4 dj since even though d4 dj is still relatively new um and it still has two more seasons to go i don't master cinderella girls um i think wake up girls even though i barely seen wake up girls and, and anything that has come before it or either things that will come after zombie land saga when it officially like ends whether it's going to be by season two or we get another season and then season three is just officially we're not doing anything else after season three but who really knows but like damn i i just need season three so fucking bad i mean even as someone who's playing vanity like so fucking much and you get to see like everything and i'm just over here i'm like okay just give me season three <laughs> now because terribly i am going to miss this so much until the freaking english version gets the zombie land saga collab and then that's when i'm gonna be like all in my feels again and be like oh my god i miss these characters like i definitely probably am gonna buy, buy some merch because i know when season one aired i i wanted to but i couldn't find any um any of the merch anywhere and plus if i did it was hella fucking expensive but uh, thank God I found, like, some secondhand places and so that I'd be able to purchase it. And hopefully they'll be able to ship it to me. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards Season 2 of Zombieland Saga Revenge. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next time for the start of summer anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.